All right, so let's look at the general method of differentiation. Okay, so let's, let's say I'm giving a function f of x, of course, we said being equal to y, and let's say this is equal to um, x cubed, for instance. If I'm asked to find f prime of x, which we said is same thing as dy over dx, what will be my answer and how do I solve this? Now, when it comes to general method of differentiation, this is used basically when you have um, a term like this being raised to an index, just like this, right? A simple term being raised to an index. The idea behind general method of differentiation is that you multiply by the power or the index, okay? So if I have this, this one here, the three here, is what we call the index. It's called the index or it's called the degree, so call it an index, or call it a degree, or call it par. Right. That means this is the, the degree of x here is 3, or the index of x is 3, or the par of x in this case is 3. All right. So how do we solve problems using general method? Now, the idea is simple. You just have to multiply by the par, and subtract one from the power and that's basically everything that means in this question here i'm given that f of x which is equal to y is equal to x cube if i use general method i will have that differentiating i have f prime of x is equal to dy all over dx and that's simply equal to the power here is 3, so we say multiply by the power, so it becomes 3 times what I have here, which is x to the power 3, and then subtract 1 from the power. So from here, I will subtract 1, and that's everything you have to do, alright? So don't forget, multiply by the power and subtract 1 from the power. So this is now equal to, this, be, this becomes 3 times x into 3 minus 1, that's the power here, all right? 3 minus 1 gives you 2, and that's equal to 3 times x squared gives you 3x squared. This becomes your answer. So that means dy over dx is equal to 3x squared. It is this simple, all right? Okay, let's take another question. So let's take the question here. Let's say, example 2, let's say f of x is equal to y is equal to let's say 4x to power 5 minus 2x to power 3 plus um let's see something else here plus let's say 7x for instance all right so let's say we are asked to differentiate this what do we do still the same concept i'll have that f prime of x on differentiating f prime of x which is equal to dy over dx is simply equal to now first things first start with the first term which is this the power here is 5 so we say multiply by the power it becomes 5 times this term here which is 4x into subtract 1 from the power the power is 5 subtract 1 becomes 5 minus 1 i'm done with this Go to the next term, which is minus 2x cubed. First things first, write down the minus. So in this term, what's the power here? What's, what's the index? The index is 3. So it becomes 3 times what I have here, which is 2x to the power 3. Okay? Now subtract 1 from the power. It becomes minus 1. Plus, for this term here, I have 7x. Now, if I have 7x, the question is this, what's the power here? In this case, obviously the power here is 1, okay? So it becomes 1 times, so whenever you have just, let's say 6x, in this case the power here is 1, okay? If you have 2x, in this case the power here is 1. So whenever, whenever you have just a number, let's say 9, and x, let's say x here, the power here is always 1, all right? So you can say there's an invisible 1, if you want to call it that way, still okay. All right, so it becomes... Um, this so the power here is one one times this term here this same term which is one times seven x to power one we said subtract one 
So it becomes minus 1. Okay, so the power here was always 1. So 1 minus 1 as we have here. So you have this as your expression. Let's simplify this. Simplifying this, this is equal to, I'm having 5 times 4. That gives you 20 into x into 5 minus 1 gives you 4 minus 3 times 2 gives you 6. x into 3 minus 1 gives you 2 plus. My next thing here is 1 times 7, which is 7. x into 1 minus 1 is 0. So I have this. So in this case, obviously, I can still simplify this one here, x to the power 0. This is equal to 20x to the power 4 minus 6x squared plus 7 into x to the power 0. Um, there's something called the zero law of indices. The zero law of indices says that any term raised to the power 0 is equal to 1, except 0. That means any term x raised to the power 0 is equal to 1. So I'm saying that x to the power 0 is equal to 1. It's called the zero law of indices. So this gives you 1. If I work on this, this is equal to, I'm having 20x to the power 4 minus 6x squared plus 7 times 1 gives you 7. So this becomes the value of f prime of x or perhaps dy all over dx. I'll take a final example to explain this and then I'll give you a task to do. Let's take one more example. Alright, so for a third example, let's say we have a function f of x being equal to y. And equal to, let's say, 2x to the power 7 minus 3x to the power 3 plus x minus, uh, let's use 9, okay? Alright, let's say we have something that looks like this. And we're asked to find f prime of x or perhaps dy over dx. What do we do? In this case, we can say that f prime of x which is equal to dy all over dx is simply equal to. So again, the tax is for this term here, the power is 7. So multiply by the power, that becomes 7 times this term, which is 2x to the power 7. Next tax subtracts 1, so it becomes minus 1. The next thing I have here is to repeat this sign. The sign there is minus. My next term here is 3x cubed. So the part of this term is 3. So it becomes 3 times 3x cubed. Again, subtract 1 from the power, which is 3. So it becomes 3 minus 1 plus. My next term here, as you can see, is x. For x here, this one here, the power is 1. So I've repeated the sign plus here. So you can see plus here. Okay. So, multiply by the power, that becomes 1 times x into power. The power here is 1, so it becomes 1 minus 1. Then, minus, so I'm having minus. I'm having 9 here. Now, for 9 here, you can see that 9 has no x term attached to it. Now, when 9 has no x term attached to it, it is con the power of x here is considered as 0. Okay, I'll explain why the pi is considered, considered as zero. Okay, but before then, just note that if you have a term standing alone without any x attached to it, then the power of x there is zero. Okay, all right, so if that's taken, that means for this it becomes zero times nine. So I have this. So before we proceed further, let me explain why that is so. Now, if I look at this, if I have nine like this, nine here. Now, can we say an x term is attached to this? Now, looking at this now, you'll be tempted to think that, no, there's no x attached to this. Why? Because I'm having 9 standing alone. But in the in an actual or in a mathematical sense, there's actually an x here. How? Let me prove that. Now, 9 is the same thing as saying 
9 times 1. Correct? Yes. 9 times 1 gives you 9. Also, we can express 1 in terms of x. Remember we mentioned something called the zeroth law of indices, where I said x to the power 0 is equal to 1. So expressing 1 in terms of x, we can say that 9 times 1, which is same thing as 9, and 1 is same thing as what there? x to the power 0. That means this becomes 9 into, in place of 1, I put what there? x to the power 0. So what this means is that 9 is same thing as equal to 9x to the power what? 0. And this is why I have 0 times 9, as you can see in this part. So that's why we have 0 times 9. Now, if I have 0 times 9 here, why don't I write 0 times 9x to the power 0 minus 1? That, that would probably be your question. And the answer is simple. 0 here, 0 times anything gives you equal to 0. So we don't stress about writing this. It's not necessary. Because 0 times anything gives you 0. So we don't stress about that. Alright, so that's how we get the 0 in this case. Okay, if that's taken, let's go back to our question. Alright, so this is equal to, I'm having 7 times 2 is 14 x to the power 7 minus 1 is 6 minus 3 times 3, that's 9 x to the power 3 minus 1, that's 2 plus I have 1 times x, that's x to the power 1 minus 1 gives you 0 minus my next term here is 0 times 9, which of course 0 times anything is 0. Okay, so if I have this simplifying for that. This is equal to 14x to the power 6 minus 9x squared plus, this is x to the power 0. And anything to the power 0 gives you what there? 1. That's 1 except 0. Then minus 0 is off. So hence, this becomes my answer. So I have this as my answer. All right. There are some cases that after differentiating, you have to factorize. Perhaps I'll have to bring out such an example, so I'll show you how this works. But, but before then, this is the value of dy over dx in this case, which we said is the same thing as what there? f prime of x. That's your answer. So let me take one example that involves um, factorization after differentiation, and then I'll give you a task um, for you to solve yourself and leave the answer in the comment section. So let's look at something else. Uh, one last thing, please. Let's say I have something very simple. Y equal to, or f of x equal to y equal to, let's say something that looks like um, 3x squared minus, okay, let's say uh, 2x, okay, 2x. All right, so let's say I have this um, plus 8. Fine. Let's say I have this question here. How do I solve this? In this case, dy over dx is simply equal to the power here comes down multiplied by the power it becomes 2 times this term here 3x into 2 minus 1 so 2 here minus 1 minus the power here is 1 so it becomes 1 times this term here which is 2x subtract 1 from this it becomes 1 minus 1 plus the term here is 8, which is a constant. And we say for constant, what do you do there now? Put 0. Since there's no x attached to this, becomes 0 times 8. I've explained why this is 0 in the previous example. So this would now be equal to, I'm having 2 times 3, that gives you 6x into 2 minus 1 is 1, minus 1 times 2x gives you 2x to the power 1 minus 1 is 0 plus 8 times 0 is 8. I have this. Simplifying further, this is equal to 6 times x to the power 1 is x. That's correct. So x to the power 1 is x. Anything to the power 1 is that same thing. All right. That's the, that's the concept here. Minus 2 into 
x to the power 0, as we've said earlier, is 1, then plus 0 goes up. So this is equal to 6x 2 times, okay, minus 2 times 1 is 2. This is the value of dy all over dx. And that's equal to, so this should be my final answer. But if you look at this, you can see that 6, um, 6 and 2, we can factorize it. By factorizing, I mean, if I look at 6 and 2, the term common between 6 and 2 is 2. Or you can say use HCF. The HCF, the highest common factor, HCF of 2 and 6. So if 2 comes here, I have, I'm having 1 and 3. So the HCF is 2. So that becomes 2 into 6 divided by 2 gives you 3. Bring down the x, so 3x minus 2 divided by this 2 outside here gives you 1. In essence, my answer is equal to 2 into 3x minus 1. This is the value of dy all over dx. So the idea I'm, I'm trying to pass is this. After differentiating to this point, if, you're, if there's a common factor between them, then you have to factorize. What I did here is called factorize, factorization. All right. So if, after solving, if you can factorize, then go ahead and factorize. To confirm if your answer is correct, simply expand the bracket. 2 times 3x gives you 6x here. Also, 2 times minus 1 gives you minus 2. So this proves that um, the answer is correct. So before I go, you try this as um, your own task. Give Leave the answer in the comment section. So let's say we have something like f of x being equal to y and equal to um, something like 13x to power 10 plus 2x to power 6 minus 5x plus 3. All right, so I'm giving this as a task, right? Solve this and leave your answer in the comment section, all right? So I'll be re responding to your answer and I'll tell you if you're correct or if you still have to work on it. Also, if you can factorize, please make sure you factorize and see what we get all right thank you very much okay so if you enjoyed this video please make sure you like this video okay if it's your first time here be sure you subscribe to this channel or if you've not subscribed yet subscribe to this channel for more content okay leave a comment right um of course comment your answer and also share this video to your friends so that they can also learn Thank you and see you in our next class.